developments in a growing list of former Utah Catholic priests who have been investigated for credible claims of sex abuse. Today, two more names were added to the list. In a statement, the Catholic Diocese of Salt Lake City named Jesuit priests Father Raymond Devlin and Father Edward Connaught as the latest to be publicized for alleged incidents that happened in the 80s. As the list of implicated priests continues to grow, ABC4's Andrew Reeser digs into what survivors think about the diocese response. Abuse survivor Judy Larson says if the Diocese of Salt Lake City continues to protect the names of accused priests, victims here in Utah won't get justice. She was abused more than six decades ago in Michigan. I was raped by a Catholic priest multiple times. I was 10 years old. Judy Larson says even if she told him now, her own father wouldn't believe her. He still goes to the same parish where I was raped. But she wanted to make the name of the man she says raped her public to take back the power he stole. He ruined my life. I was 10 years old when it happened and my youngest granddaughter turned 10. And little Judy inside said, you have to protect her. You have to tell what happened to you. That's why Larson, who represents Utah for the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, says it's so important for the Salt Lake City Diocese to publish all the names of priests who've been credibly accused, worried victims in Utah won't get justice. Be transparent. Um, you're not going to ruin the reputation of the Catholic Church any more than it already is. Since September, the diocese has only named four of the 20 priests accused, including the names of the late Father Raymond Devlin and Father Edward Conat, who were kicked out of the ministry for alleged abuse that happened in Utah in the 1980s. The diocese says more names may be forthcoming, but there are legal and privacy issues. The diocese tells me it's working with its legal team to determine whether they'll release the names of the other accused priests here in Utah. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. 13 state attorneys general are openly investigating their local diocese around the U.S. A spokesperson for Utah's attorney general, Sean Reyes, says he will wait for local police to wrap up their own investigation into priest abuse before he starts his own.